Bike Saddle Hunters, I'm really excited to bring you this video. It's been a long time coming. The Ultimate Saddle Review 2.0. So let's get this saddle review kicked off. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the saddle review. I don't know anybody that works for any of these companies. I personally purchased every one of these saddles with my own money. So I'm able to give you a 100% honest review. I also wanted to let you know that all of these saddles are for sale. I will be selling them at a slight discount. If you're interested, just drop me a comment below and I'll touch base with you and we can work out the details. So here's how the saddle review is gonna work today. Today I'm gonna to put each saddle on here at the truck. I'm gonna wear the saddle up to the tree. I'm going to ascend the tree using my lineman loops, sit in the saddle for one hour, uh, test the bridge out, uh, see how the bridge um, functions through the carabiner. I'm going to test any features that the saddle offers. Uh, then I'm going to descend the tree using the lineman loops, wear the saddle out, and change saddles and do the same process for each saddle. I have some great saddles in the lineup today, so I'm really excited to get this review going. So let's get started. So the first saddle we're gonna get started with today is the Wild Edge Berserker. Well, the Berserker was really comfortable on the walk-in. The D-rings, Lyman loops were really easy to clip into. Uh, they're nice and big. They do sit vertical instead of horizontal. I have my tether height about forehead height when I'm standing on the platform. As far as the bridge sliding through the carabiner, it slides really easily for maneuvering a shot. As far as bridge length adjustments, let me take my weight off and I'll show you. I'm pulling on this and it's not budging at all. So I'm gonna have to take my weight off and loosen this Prusik knot to make any bridge adjustments. I don't know if anybody else with this system, with uh, the KISS system is having this problem. Now let me try it. That let it slide. I had to break this free with my hand in order to get it to slide and the KISS system is not working like it's supposed to. Okay, after talking with Aaron with Platinum Pursuit Outdoors, so I'm back up here in the Berserker and the reason being, in my initial review, I was having problems with the KISS system working properly uh, to break the bite on the Prusik and Aaron let me know he had the same problem when he got his saddle from the factory. What he had to do, he said, was he tied an additional knot in the tender uh, paracord. So I tied a second knot in there, right below the original knot from the factory. He said that should work in allowing me to uh, make an easy adjustment. The tender was too long and was not catching the bottom of the Prusik soon enough. Uh, which was not allowing it to break the bite. So I'm gonna give this a try, I've not tried it yet. I just got in the saddle, just sat down. It's about to dump rain on me here, so I need to hurry. So let's give this a shot. I wanna see if this uh, additional knot helps break the bite. And it did. Let's lower it all the way out. That totally works. So there you go. Thank you, Aaron. Platinum Pursuit Outdoors. Appreciate the pro tip there. I just want to see if I can make bridge adjustments and if they'll stay. Let me try the high side. All right, so as you just saw, um, you can only make micro adjustments on the Berserker and it's only on the very top edge of the bridge loop. It wants to naturally ride on a little bit of the high side about right there 
is where it wants to naturally ride. Right there's the middle. I'm holding the two ends together and it still slips up. But you can make adjustments even higher and pinch that over and that does hold. So you can make adjustments for about one inch worth of bridge loop. One thing that I do like about the Berserker is you have the gear loops that are on the back, but you don't have to use those. You're able to feed your pouches through the webbing. They do give you two or three molly webbings right here at the very beginning of the saddle, uh, up by your lineman loop. You're able to slide your tri-glides or your traditional molly straps. And that's really nice. I'm really glad you're able to put your pouches up here on your sides. You can look straight down and see right into your pouches. If I had to put them in the gear loops back here, I'd have to be doing everything by feel versus being able to look down in the pouch. As far as the panel, so when I pull that saddle panel apart, that pulled the top webbing of the saddle above my hip bones. All right, well, I am timing each one of my sits. I will be sitting in each saddle for an hour. Just about done here with the Berserker. So just a little recap before we get down for the next saddle. Um, I really like the Berserker, the way it wore in, felt really good. Lineman loops uh, are really easy, good positioning. The Oplux bridge slides through the carabiner, uh, really nice. The KISS system, I, I did have a little bit of problems with the KISS system, uh, making uh, bridge length adjustments. The Berserker, uh, poor man's ascender, now works just wonderful. I love the dump pouch positioning and I love the options that you get with the gear loops on the back. I do like the uh, seat. Uh, you can open that panel up. You can open just the bottom or you can open the top or you can open both. Uh, so there's plenty of adjustability. That's it for the Berserker. I'm going to get down and get the next saddle. All right, the next saddle is going to be the Arrow Hunter Merlin. The Merlin's really comfortable. Um, the walk-in was super comfortable. The Lyman loops were really easy to access, uh, far enough forward that uh, they were really easy to get into. The Molly loops are really nice. I like the Molly loops, or just a traditional Molly loop style, just across the top. They were easy to access. The traditional style as well as the tri-glide style. Uh, both functioned really well. They sit far enough forward uh, that I can access my pouches uh, while looking into them on both sides. I can look straight down right into the pouch. The bridge slides through the carabiner um, pretty easily. There is some resistance. Um, you can easily turn and access for shots. Uh, it's very easy. It just doesn't slide as easy as like your AM steel. So your bridge length is adjustable uh, through a tri-glide uh, buckle. The only thing with it is you have to take your weight off and feed the strap through and then pull your length out to shorten it. You can't just pull it and draw length in or draw length out. Um, same with releasing length. You can't just turn the buckle, the tri-glide, you can't just turn it down and slide webbing through. 
you do have to take your weight off to make that adjustment. Just slide it through with one hand and then make your length adjustment right there. So your bridge length is adjustable. Um, it's not as easy as you know a Ropeman 1 or, or a Ropeman 2 or something like that where you can just pull up on your tag end. You can't do that with the Merlin. As far as your bridge pitch adjustments, So the bridge loops, they were adjustable on the bottom half of the saddle up to the center. And then when I tried to adjust them on the top, um, they slid back to the middle um, both times that I tried that. But there was some adjustability, that's, um, that's good. So let's sit in the saddle for an hour and just see how the uh, overall comfort is. All right, well, that's another hour. Well, the Merlin was super comfortable walking in. The Lyman loops worked really well. I like them. They're just looks like one inch webbing um, doubled over, um, but they sit far enough forward and they were easy to access with the carabiner. The bridge slides really nicely through the carabiner with this one inch webbing, um, but there was a little bit of uh, resistance no, not bad at all as far as the loop inside of a loop with the leg straps um, they're loose and most people wear them loose some people take them off altogether so i don't see that this leg strap loop did anything at all um, however i do think the strap that runs through the leg loops i do think that may have added in the overall comfort of the saddle. The Arrow Hunter Merlin was super comfortable. You're able to make adjustments as far as pulling the panel apart and uh, widening that out across your, your butt as well as above your hip bones, uh, but I never needed to. Um, it was completely comfortable. The Molly Loops are your traditional style Molly Loops. Um, I was able to use tri-glides as well as your standard Molly straps with the uh, snap and they're positioned far enough forward that I can see and access my dump pouches really easily. All right, the next saddle up is the Tethered Menace. the tethered menace so we'll give this saddle an hour so walking in with the menace I uh, felt totally fine uh, even though it's Cordura um, there was no noise uh, the Lyman loops were uh, your common style of Lyman loop um, real easy to get into uh, they were in a good good position as well uh, far enough forward easy to see easy to clip into the Mollies on the menace start back just a little bit farther the reason being is they have the stitching for the bridge loop right here doubled over and you can't get anything in here so you're forced to start back around the third spot so that does push your pouches back just a little bit if you could start using these first two mollies that would move your whole pouch up and you'd be able to see down in your pouches a lot easier. Uh, they do feel like they're sitting back a little more on the back, back corner of your hips. Some guys don't mind that. I prefer them up here where I can easily look down and get into them. I can hit them with my headlamp in the dark. As far as the bridge, so the Amsteel bridge on the Menace, 
Uh, just glides through that carabiner really nice. Really easy to pivot. Let me see if I can make any adjustments on these bridge loops. So there's no adjustment on the bridge loops. Um, they automatically fall right back into the center of the, the bridge loops. Um, there's no pleat in the panel and your only adjustments are gonna be in your microfit adjustments. Now let's see if these will adjust. And those adjust very, very easily. Really easy, I like that. Put my weight into it. I'll see how easy it is to release. Very easy to release. Super easy, no pressure on it at all. Can definitely feel that when I tighten it up, I can feel that in the bottom of my leg. It's not uncomfortable, it just changes a slight change of pitch in the saddle. So the microfit adjusters work really well. They slide through really well and uh, they hold their positions really well. So, all right, let's sit in the saddle for an hour and see how it goes. So after sitting in the menace for a while, I am feeling some hip pinch and even into a little bit of my lower back. Um, I have tried to lower the tether into more of a sitting position uh, instead of leaning to try to eliminate some of that pressure on my upper back. I'll try my microfit adjusters as well. So I'm going to give it a little longer and give you an update. All right, well, we're coming up on the hour, so I'll just give a quick overview and we'll get into the next saddle. So the walk in, the menace felt great. Uh, no issues, no noise. The Lyman loops are in a good spot. They're your traditional style Lyman loops. Uh, they're, they lie horizontal. Uh, they're far enough forward, really easy to use. The bridge is really nice. I love Amsteel. It glides really nicely through the carabiner. It's not adjustable as far as length or up and down the bridge loops. So it is what it is. You can make adjustments in your tether height as far as where the placement is. Uh, I've placed it at forehead height when I'm standing on the platform. Um, but if you wanna make adjustments for the Menace, uh, you can adjust your tether into more of the sitting position or you can pull it up and uh, be in more of the leaning position. The Molly's on the Menace. Uh, you have to use the third one back, uh, the first two are non-existent because of the double over. I have them as far forward as I can get them and they're still back on the back corner of my my hips. So we're gonna descend the tree using the Lyman loops and get the next saddle. All right, the next saddle is gonna be the Trophy Line Covert Light. So I'm in the covert light and it was really comfortable walking in, um, ascending the tree. Uh, the lineman loops were really easy to use. So the bridge slides through the carabiner really nicely. Um, it's really easy to, to turn and get a shot any direction. Just a slight pivot of the hips. You might feel a little bit of friction with this rope bridge um, but ultimately it slides really nicely as far as making bridge adjustments i was able to just kind of take my weight off and slide the bridge through the prusik knot now if i want to let some bridge out let me uh 
see if that'll slide just as easily. Yes, that slides just as easily either direction. As far as the uh, bridge loops, you are able to make uh, some small adjustments with the covert light. You just have to crimp the bridge over and settle into it and it does kind of hold that position. So the other side slips a little through the carabiner, but you can make small adjustments. I do feel that pressure across the top side of my waist after making that adjustment. I'll put it back in the middle. So right there in the middle is pretty comfortable. As far as the adjustments on the lower side of the panel with these buckles, they are pretty hard to let in and out. I'm having a hard time making adjustments here. I can do it with two hands, but I really have to pull. As far as tightening these buckles, uh, same thing, it's nearly impossible while you're in the saddle. You literally have to probably use two hands and feed the buckle through. All right, so as you saw there, uh, those buckles don't operate very easily. Um, I do feel the pressure when I just tightened it up across the uh, bottom side of the panel, but that's really hard to make those adjustments. Uh, I feel like it should slide easier than it is. The covert light also has two rows of mollies. It has this upper row and it has this lower row. So you are able to utilize um, your traditional style molly straps with the snap and you're also able to utilize the tri-glide style. One thing to remember though, Trophy Line gives you two uh, dump pouches with the purchase of your saddle. Uh, that's a really nice feature. All right, after sitting in the covert light for an hour, um, I did start to feel just a little bit of pressure on my hips, um, but I made a bridge length adjustment. I also pulled the saddle up above my hip bones, uh, and that did relieve the pressure. It's a, it's a comfortable saddle. As far as the buckles with the tri-glides here on the lower side of the panel, uh, it does take two hands to make those adjustments. Overall, I think the Covert Light was a, a nice saddle. Uh, it was comfortable. Like I said, tiny bit of hip pressure, uh, but I made a few adjustments and that went away. Moving on to the next saddle. All right, the next saddle we're gonna try out is the H2 Hot Shot. Okay, so on the walk-in, the hot shot was really comfortable. The leg straps were comfortable, uh, and they've been comfortable so far up in the saddle. The Lyman loops uh, worked just fine. Uh, they were easy to look down and see, and they're far enough forward. They are a little bit flimsy. Uh, they're just webbing, um, but they're totally fine. The Amsteel bridge slides through the carabiner can easily rotate for a shot. As far as the uh, bridge length adjustments, you just have to take your weight off and loosen this Prusik knot and then you can make adjustments.
put your weight into it and it does hold. It, you can make a change on both sides. As far as adjustments up and down the bridge, same thing, you just have to take your weight off, loosen this up and slide it up and down. Let's see if it holds. So I can feel that on the bottom of my leg. Now let's slide it up and see if it'll hold close to the top. So it does hold in all the positions, the bottom, middle, and the top. As far as the mollies, your molly loops are plenty big enough to fit a finger through. They work well with your traditional style uh, dump pouch with the molly straps, as well as with your tri-glide style pouch. So we're gonna sit in the hot shot for an hour and I'll let you know my overall thoughts uh, when the hour's up. All right, we're closing in on the final few seconds of the hot shot. My overall thoughts, the walk-in was really comfortable. The leg straps were comfortable. They were also comfortable while sitting in the saddle. I didn't have to make any adjustments. The lineman loops, uh, although they're just uh, webbing, uh, they work just fine. They do sit far enough forward. Uh, they were easy to access. The Hot Shot does offer two rows of mollies, one across the top that are looser, a row across the bottom that are tighter. The mollies work well with uh, traditional style dump pouch attachment as well as with the tri-glide style. The dump pouches sit nicely. Uh, they sit far enough forward. They're not towards your back. Uh, you can look down in them and access everything. The bridge slides through the carabiner nicely. Uh, I did upgrade this saddle to the AM steel bridge instead of the standard 30 inch webbing bridge. Uh, you have that option. Uh, the bridge is adjustable as far as the overall length of the bridge on both ends. The bridge is also adjustable on your bridge loops. Um, it held in every position, the bottom, middle, and the top. Um, the hot shot was pretty comfortable. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable saddle I've been in, but it is, it is a really comfortable saddle. So overall, that's... Uh, my final opinion on the hot shot. So I'm gonna start packing up and head to the truck. Well, that's gonna do it for the single panel Ultimate Saddle Review 2.0. I'm gonna be putting all of the information that was covered in this review in the Ultimate Saddle Review spreadsheet. All right, well, I know everyone's gonna to wanna to know what my overall pick was out of these five single panel saddles. So here's my thoughts on this. Just remember, I purchased every one of these saddles so I don't owe anybody anything. This is just my opinion. Just based on comfort, uh, it's a tie. Uh, the Arrow Hunter Merlin and the Wild Edge Berserker, they tied. Um, they were both extremely comfortable. Comfortable on the walk in, comfortable the entire time in the tree, comfortable on the walk out. Those two saddles uh, were the most comfortable saddles and I could not pick one over the other as the most comfortable. Now I will say, if you want to find out what saddle I pick as the overall winner or which one gets a highest rating, uh, you're going to have to go to the description box below, click on my spreadsheet, and look at that. Uh, the reason being, there's a lot of different pros and cons that go into each one of the saddles. Uh, so my overall rating isn't just based on comfort, it's based on the entire functionality, comfort, uh, pros and cons, uh, different purchasing options, uh, that type of thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I just hope that you can get out there and start your own adventure soon. Take care.